which is here uh, released at Essen. Yeah. So, can you give us a quick overview of sure. the game? Sure. So this is a game from Tom Lehman, who did Race for the Galaxy and a Roll for the Galaxy just last year. Um, it's a redesign of an older game of his called To Court the King, mm -hmm. uh, which was out from, was published by Amigo um, in 2006, so uh, almost nine years ago. Um, originally, we were going to just do a reprint of that game, but and Tom had some expansions to add to that, um, some extra cards and maybe some custom dice. But the more we talked about it, the more we realized we had an opportunity here to kind of revisit the whole game and really kind of reinvent it with, but have still the same core idea. The, the basic idea of both of those games is you're trying to accumulate dice and special powers to manipulate the dice. And uh, at the very end of the game, there's a roll off and everyone's trying to see how many of one value they can, they can roll. And uh, both games have that same central goal in mind. Uh, this one, however, um, because of just the, the way I think we're, we're thinking about games now, is a lot more variable, there's a lot more um, options. It comes actually with uh, about 50 different tiles. Okay, um, I can show it to you okay. once. A lot of tiles in the box. A lot of tiles. Yeah, it's a ton of tiles. You only use 20 each game, so you can yeah. pull in different ones each time. You have a lot of uh, replayability. Um, custom dice. We've separated requirements for how to obtain the cards from the cards. Um, so uh, you can manipulate them. They actually are double-sided, so they have different values. Oh, okay on each side. Uh, we added little tokens here. These tokens allow you to get and add to your dies or uh, re-roll them and uh, just a lot of other things to make it a little more flexible. So I can give a, then a brief overview of the actual gameplay. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> so on your turn, everyone starts with three dice. So you start with three dice and you'll roll those dice. Um, once you've rolled the dice, mm -hmm. you then can choose to lock one or more in your pyramid. Okay. And you can pick any one you want to. I'll just take the four and okay. lock that one. Okay. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock them all. Yeah, yeah. So okay. Actually, ah, okay, it's your turn. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So then I'll roll again, and I can choose to lock one or more. I'll lock both of these in this case. Once they're all locked, I choose what I can, I can purchase. Early in the game, we can only purchase tiles from down here. These are the, the three row which is uh, only, if you have only three dice. So we don't have three of a kind, so we can't purchase that. We do have a pair, mm -hmm. so we could purchase this. They're all even, so we could purchase mm -hmm. this. We do not have 10 or more, so we could not get this. So our choices are really one of those two at this point. Yeah, yeah. So let's say I decide to buy this. I add this here um, to my uh, cards that are available. This means that next turn, I'm going to be able to have four dice to start instead of three. Yeah. And then I'll have more choices. I'll have the second roll open up to me. So after that's my turn, I'm done. So you'll take three dice. Yep. I roll them. Turn. Okay. And then uh, you must lock so at I, least one. Yes, and I also have to kind of think ahead here what, what I want to... Right, have. and of course, because you only have three dice, you can only choose from these. This one is if you have a terrible roll and you've nothing yeah, else uh, to pick, you can choose. Okay, so I'm just going for the... And how, how much can I roll? Just, well, you have to lock one each time. So, oh, okay. so in this case, three times. You're always locking at least one. Okay. Okay, so, so I not would, a great roll. I so this or this are yeah. your choices. Yeah, yeah, so I'll take this. And so that one allows you to take another turn right away with only two dice. Uh, okay. Now, I'm one of the things fewer. you could okay. have done, yeah. because you have this little token, you went second, so you get this little extra token, is you could have manipulated one of these dice by adding one to it. Okay. And once you use that, that's gone from the game. Um, but you'll get other ones back, depending if you buy certain tiles, they actually give so you I more of those. So I could have added here the three, and then I also would get a pair if I want to. Exactly, yes. Yeah. yes. So right now you have this, which means you can take another turn by rolling just two dice instead yes. of three. Yes. And so we'll continue that until someone gets the queen. Someone rolls seven of a kind, and that's what it costs to be able to seven get the queen. Seven of a kind, okay, and then you get a queen. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's seven ones or seven sixes. If you have seven of a kind, you get the queen. You also get the little pharaoh token in front of you to show that you're the current leader. And let's say I rolled seven twos. I take a die and just place it there to show that's what the number that people have to beat at this point. Everyone else then gets a turn. If I went first, um, other players will get a little extra token here just to even out the uh, player order. So mm -hmm. they get one extra little die. Everyone gets a chance to try to beat seven, seven twos. Let's say you got um, eight twos. Mm -hmm. That's more. So then you, we put the little, oops, the uh, two thing here. Yeah, eight twos. Okay. And so then, because I'm the one who got the queen initially, I get one more chance using all of the cards that I've gathered to try to beat your eight twos. 
If I do, I win. If not, you win. That's it. <laughs> okay, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so it's all about kind of building up your dice. Yeah, and, it's getting um, more dice, and these really cool powers to manipulate dice. The blue ones here, I'll let you change things. The entertainer, for instance, lets you take a die and flip it from one side to the other. So when it comes to this queen standoff at the end, you have a lot of powers. Yeah, and... you've, got, you've got a lot of dice, you have a lot of powers. You might have some of these special custom dice, and has, these have some things on the sides, like this allows you to, to actually change two dice to any value. Okay. okay. Um, so all sorts of fun things like that. Um, and so it's uh, strategic because you're kind of going for a certain, you know, you, certain things work better together, but at the same time, every you're, you're making choices every turn in, in terms of what to do. Okay, the game is for two to four players yes. here, uh, 45 minutes? Yeah, 45 minutes for your first game. After that, for a four-player game, it's usually about one half hour. Okay, and um, how much is it? If it's it is, well, uh, in the US it's $60, so that's, it's about 50 euros. Okay, so if it's yours here at your yeah. booth, and uh, where can you um, can you be found? Yeah. Um, well, here here at Essen for the next hour. Or yeah, two. yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's, run, run. It's, it's not. Um, we're, we're, <laughs> we're feeling it, it, it. It's coming to an end. That's but that's well. We have still about twenty copies left. When I left, we had about twenty some. copies left, so yeah, we still yeah. have some. Still twenty copies. <laughs> okay, um, we're yeah. in Hall One uh, in uh, G One Thirty Nine. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Still what? something? Yeah, one more question. We want again to know the goal of the game. One on the, the, the chat. Yeah, the, the goal of the game. One, one. Um, yeah. Just repeat. The goal of the game is somebody gets the queen, and then you have kind of the standoff, which yeah, gets a, more of the same dice to kind of, kind of win the game, win yes. the queen in the very end. Yeah, that's what triggers the end of the game, and at that point, the goal is whoever has the most rolled of one kind. One kind. Yes. Yeah. Well, yes. So the most fours or sixes or whatever, whoever has the most of those dice. So probably you could kind of, even if you ha would have the power to get the queen, you could kind of delay, go for it for, yes, yes. for what, other what you things. Have that you could, because and that's seven of a kind, it's also, seven of a kind is also three of a kind and two pairs. You might choose to get this for yeah, two dice yeah. instead of this one, which so maybe it's better to right. kind of get the queen when you are sure you yes. will win the standoff. Yes, because everyone else is going to have a chance to beat you when you have the yeah. queen. So you have to be careful about that. Yeah. Thank you very much You're welcome. for coming and uh, good luck and good journey back home. Thank, yeah, probably. thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow <laughs> morning, first thing. Till uh, <laughs> next year. All right. Or maybe at Gen Con if we can make oh, it. Oh, that would be great. 